going again, guys. Welcome to the Russian and the Freak Show, episode number 16. Yes, with the freak that is coming on board right now. What is going on? Steve Eckert and me, Eva Eckert, the Russian. So welcome to the show. I have my chair oh my back. God, you always about this. You you guys know this. This is my chair like about the, where are we sitting? What are we doing? Can I have my? It's mine there. Oh God, this was yours. This is that's my goop. I'm gonna have all kinds of lipstick and who knows where else your mouth has been. <laughs> oh, come on, come on. Shit. You gotta scooch a little bit more, I think, because you are sideways on my camera. That's fine. You want, as long as you're centered. All right, welcome to episode number 16 of The Russian and the Freak. This is a show on how to maintain your equilibrium and function in a dysfunctional world as a freak family in business and in life so that you can transform your chaotic complexity into your own personal normalcy. This is a show on how to win at business, at family, at relationships, and life in general this is all about the real world real situations real relationships real family shit this is shit that you need to hear if you have a a family if you have kids especially if you have a business within your family or if you work together in the business with any family members this is what this show is pretty much all about it's no bullshit this is straightforward telling it like it is exactly how it should be and you know with anything that we do we are bringing the fucking fire Every second of every second, and of course, making zero fucking excuses. So let's do it. Let's roll. And today, what we're going to talk about are really just freak habits. So we just did a webinar last night, and it was it was freaking awesome. It was a, it went over a little over two hours because there was tons of engagement, tons of questions and answers that we talked about, and it, it really turned out to be a lot of questions about habits, a lot of questions about daily uh, non-negotiables, questions about lifestyle, how to balance things in between the personal and the professional life, how to balance things between when you are in a, a re working relationship in your family and running a business, how do you deal with that? How do you separate it? And that's exactly what this show is about in general. So we're just going to kind of expand on that with everything we went over in the webinar yesterday. It was some deep, High level, granular stuff we went over. We broke down different frameworks for morning routines, end of workday routines, end of night routines. And that was just the kind of culmination of all the different areas we talked about. So first of all, you need to focus on your mind, your body, and your business. And all three of those, they are all intertwined. What are you kicking me for? <laughs> what are you kicking me for? You are on the roll of speaking. <laughs> well, I have a moment. <laughs> You don't got shit to say. You said you don't have. You don't even know what we're talking about today. Look, when he's on the roll, you guys heard this on the webinar. I was. I it was one time that Steve just went all out. So well, I'm because gonna, I'm actually because what are you? All right, you're talking. On, but what are you saying? Yes, hold on. Let me just say hello to everybody at least. Uh, welcome. Did you start off and say hello? Yeah, that was just a moment. All right, guys. Thank you for watching our show, and I want to say thank you to everybody that actually joined our webinar yesterday. Uh, we we are super thankful for you guys coming on board, spending that two hours with us and asking questions because that's really what the life is all about. When you when you listen to something and then you participate. So we have the open Q&A for you guys. And thank you so much for submitting those questions because it always gives us additional information, additional content for our shows. So I see you guys logging in on different devices to so put down the questions as we go along. So the webinar was about how we created these habits of our family, like what we do, how we break them down, how we start our, what is our morning routine, how our day starts, then what we do throughout the day with our mind, body, business, right? And how the end of the routine looks like. So just uh, a little bit about what we did yesterday. 
So all you did basically is just repeated everything that I just said. No, I, no. You literally just went word for word, except you said it with a Russian accent in case like, <laughs> someone needs a different translation. Maybe that's if they don't it. understand English, they want to understand Russian, so you give the Russian translation. So that's right. pretty much everything <laughs> I'll say, you just could re- fucking repeat word for word in a different language, so they know what the, what, what we're saying. Maybe I should just in general start speaking Cause Polish. Because you cut me off with what I was saying, and and you didn't say anything in addition to it. You just repeated everything I said. See, this after is the you real kicked life. me like this under I the had table. To kick you. I told you when I'm gonna I got be fucking ready kicked to move. The table. You've been stepping on me over there yesterday all the time. He was stepping on my foot all well, the time. Well, because listen, when, you, when you're on a video, when you're on a video, it's a camera there. It, it's a, especially when you're recording it. If there's one person here in the center and one person like here, and then the whole other half of the screen is empty, it doesn't it doesn't look even. There should be no, like you, hold half on, should here I move and up, here? But look, where are you and now? Centered, but we are both on ends of the camera. It's 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 just basic physiognomy. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Anyway, let's go. No, go ahead. I'm getting, you're, oh, it's all yours. Go ahead. All right. Go ahead, hot shot. All right. So then I'm taking over. So so yes. Oh, this ought to be rich. So we were talking about mind, body, and business. Operate to dominate. Uh, that's the program that we we launching and we've been doing for a, a quite some time with our private clients and that's where we decided to do the webinar. So operate to dominate in three areas of your life mind body and business i always add relationships because it's always in between these lines that's where the relationship are and we were well uh, i'm out of here (laughs) and and we we gave you guys an outline on how to score yourself on what's called the decaf which is the discipline energy confident action and freak because that's what we do with our family daily so this is the first this is what you should do is each each night at the end of your night you should be doing self-reflection if you're not reflecting at the end of the night about your day all areas of your life the personal the professional and the icky relationship crap that she's talking about then how could you possibly go forward and progress and move and grow and and whatever move forward Elevate, make more fucking money if you're not reflecting on what worked, what didn't work, what do I need to do more of, what do I need to do less of, what what do I need to start doing, what do I need to stop doing, what should I keep doing, what do I need to do more of, less of, better, worse, what did I fuck up, what did I miss, what did I forget, and it goes for everything. Like last night was a huge reflection on the webinar itself. We did a a, a AAR, which we'll have a meeting about it, but I wrote in my you know journaling about what could have been better, what I could have done better which was a very short list, what what other people could have done better, which was a very long list. Uh, anyway. Did you guys catch on about this? That? You didn't even catch on it. I did. Yes, I did. Did you guys just catch on this, what he just said? You are outside of my screen on Instagram. Because well, you didn't Move put, over. You put it all fucking crooked on your little selfie arm stick there. You guys have a raw footage right now. Move over. Move over. Then just... I'll be off. All three of those I'm good on. Okay, but. So yours is just off, out in left field, off in like some tornado position, which is like So normal. I will go around and fix that. That, that is not necessary. It is but, all good. It is okay, all good. as long as you guys. So, so yeah. So this, that, that's. So you should. Talking. Oh, back what I was saying. Hold on. A reflection. Well, you asked me if I caught, caught on this. Yes, immediately after the webinar, we did. We here. I'm not drinking out of your world. I get fucking goop. You, there's like eight pounds you of like. You have a better, better lip color. Lip plumpers and all kinds of shit. Like that's what we like dish. Well, no. <laughs> okay, so doing the reflection immediately because why do girls a- do the duck face in the videos? I will like, not. What do they do the duck what face I for? Like, what is the per- well, can okay, you? Can, can anyone tell me out there? What is the, the purpose plan? of the duck face? What is the purpose of uh, what the duck is face? It, like, what do you mean? You like, know, like you don't know. You're the but fucking do queen. I do, of it. Okay, do and I it I only do happens face? when you take a picture of yourself for some reason. So if but someone that's takes, why I don't do these if someone pictures. takes a picture of you, it's like semi-normal, right? You, you, you still, probably you put all kinds of goop and all that other stuff on your face and all that stuff. But what is the purpose of the duck lips? Like, it's only like when they take their camera and they put it there. It's like the second their that's arm extends. Do. Maybe there's a muscle like in your armpit or in like the breasticle muscles or something, breasticle. and they hold it up there. <laughs> That when you hold it up, it's like attached to a nerve in the face that it goes and sticks your fucking out. Breasticle. Like, what is it when 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 women and now shit now men more than fucking women that when they take Maybe a picture? Men do the lip I just said men more than women nowadays because men now are, are are women and women are I don't know I can't keep up with it these days. 
I didn't. I don't even know what bathroom to go in anymore. So I just pissed in the fucking street like the rest of them. Hold on. As far as we, uh, we change to the topic goes, as far as uh, injections goes, it's different story when you j- just do and help your, uh, you know, aging lines. But when you go and you totally change yourself and you look like a doc, that's a different story. No, we talking I'm talking about, about when they do not injections or surgery. They just stick your fucking lips out and they take a picture. I don't themselves. know like, what, what is it that is all about? for. I Who invented know. the fucking duck lips? Who invented They're trying the to make their lips look bigger. There you go. Uh, Ashley, Ashley is here. All right, but we just got off the truck and I'll get us back on track because you have you're you're like a, a gerbil and you're thinking you're all over the place. You can't gerbil. stay focused. <laughs> so I'll get us back on track. So back to reflection. Every Mr. night, Eckert. you should judge yourself in certain different areas. If you need a framework of where to start, start with those five: discipline, energy, confidence, action, freak. And it's very simple. We do it as a family. We do it with the kids. And we sit and discuss about it every night at least. Tyson will be here with me and he does it. He's like, before we even start, he's like, Daddy, what do you think you're going to get? And I'm like, I don't know. I didn't get to you yet. Let me, let me think and write down like what I did for the day. What didn't I do for the day? So I could really like reflect on it and get a good answer. And he's and, and like two minutes later, what do you think you're going to get? What'd you get? What'd you get? He wants to know what I got. And he's surprised sometimes when he hears me say out of a 25 that it's like a 21 sometimes or a 23. Hold on, but there people are a lot don't of know what it is. It's like just, each you, you five? judge yourself on a scale of one to five from all five of those categories. So it's a total of 25. And he, he's surprised because I'm his whatever. He's superhero that when sometimes it's a 21 or a 22, that's rare. It is a 25 pretty often, but 23, 24 is a normal 25 half of the time. But sometimes it'll dip down below because... Maybe my energy wasn't the way I wanted it that day. Or maybe I didn't take action on enough things that I felt like I did. I didn't get enough done. Or believe it or not, the fucking freak score is down sometimes. If I wasn't my freak self, that's why I have to come on here. And I just have to be fucking me. But if it, that's why I have to do these videos uh, to make me be this freak self so I can get a motherfucking 25. But you Tyson's are freak shocked. self. But just doing this extra freak and showing out there to the world, it's like a... Then you're going to get a score of five today, you think? By no, but doing- it's all, it doesn't have to just be that. But it's also if you were your, like, if you operate as yourself, if you kind of were just like in the gray a little bit and not really out there and being yourself. There's times you're not yourself. You're not totally yourself. If you just didn't do enough. Or maybe if you don't even feel good. Like today, if I had a moment that I didn't feel good myself. It's not feeling. It's not but it's feeling not. Good. So still, this is, I'm still, still my freak self. Yourself because. And be yourself. But, and exactly. So but you also, it's also to teach him that. You don't have to be perfect all the time that he sees, oh, wow. And, and one time he said his was a 24 and mine was a 22. He's like, whoa. Like to him to hear me say a 22 out of 25 was like huge to him. And his was a 24. And he asked me why. And I explained to him why I gave the scores I had. And he's like, yeah, you know what? And he, act- he, he brought his scores down, realizing it doesn't have to be so high. It's okay to judge yourself in these different areas and, and be truthful and honest with yourself about where you might have been lacking that day. There's nothing wrong with it. It's a day-to-day basis. The every, It's all about the, the big picture and the average scores. But that's just on a daily basis. What you should do then is, on, and that's in all areas of life, right? You're just jumbling up those So we're five. talking about the decaf, the energy, uh, uh, discipline, energy, hold on, confidence, action freak. Hold on for a second. I just had a moment. I forgot. <laughs> All right, stop, <laughs> Mr. Echo. Your fucking score this today is right. going to be, I don't know what it's going to be out of 25. No, no, but the whole point is that sometimes I think we think we did so great. We think, but just in general, but we didn't, right? And that's why the journaling is all about. And you know what I thought today, actually? I don't, because we journal, we have like our journaling. I know what you thought today? Hold, hmm. hold, hold on, hold on. Something hold on. about probably the sun or the moon. Like no, the sun no. comes up every day. You know what mm. wanders me? The sun comes up and we are awake. And the no, sun goes no, down no, 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 and we get no, tired. No, no, Something no, like that. Something no, along no, those lines. No, 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 because we journal and we we do these scores but then i'm thinking we have so many journals at home and what four journals that the ones that we do goes into a year i think right isn't it because it's three I months between journals now well now you I'm rotate but here. i am just saying but then ideally would be at the end of the year since we're going to the end of the year would be to look through them and see how your either score was or what you, you did. So I thought, you but I thought, but I, by what I thought today, it should be a journal only for your victories. Like imagine if you would put today's date and you're going to have a three or four victories in your journal, just the victories. And you're going to go every single day 
looking at those victories and and listing them because what happens is like we thrive on the victories we want the positivity in our life so it propels us to do more right because think about it if you start talking about <clears throat> these right these uh these negative stuff because what happens in the room when you meet with someone people have a tendency oh i do great or i will tell you how are you doing and they're gonna say oh i'm doing awesome but the energy is not there. Of course, they're not doing awesome. And then you start talking and negative stuff and pe people pulling you in and out of nowhere, you ended up in a conversation that it's not happy and everything in your life becomes negative. But you got to be the freak that shows up and shows the people the energy, the enthusiasm and that life is good because we are living. That's a good life right there, guys. And you got to step up and show up with all Fuck God. yeah! Get me fired up! Hell yeah! God. All right, these. Yeah, I just had, almost had that heart attack. But it, showing up with enthusiasm and but showing up, it's not enough, right? We just need to have the discipline, the energy, the confidence, the action, and the freak self. So that's what I was telling you guys about. That it's so important to do this journaling so it brings to the surface how much you have done because you guys a lot of people don't appreciate how far they've gotten so another strategy so uh, a victories journal i already i kind of do that i have a checklist i just pulled up here on the computer so it's just called victories it's just a, on a, on a note-taking app so each day i'll add in what were my victories for the day and i forget to put it in there sometimes but it's always there so when you need to look back on the month or the year or the life and you start thinking things down and there's another one that is called gratitude that has an ongoing list of just gratitude. So I journal that every day and then I add it to this master list. So how could you ever have a bad day? You go through your gratitude list and you're just like, bam, bam, like, wow, I'm a badass motherfucker. I am fucking awesome. That's the way you just change your state. So I refer to those all the time. It's not necessarily dated or a journal. It's just an ongoing master list, a victories list on a note taking app and then a gratitude list both of those right there will steer your fucking life and and always bring you back on track if you're ever feeling that little slight moment of moment. weakness yes but because you forget guys like think about it what was a week right. ago like you know, what was is... yes we got yeah what was a week ago so, so this the, is an important part so this really that's all this was really about it's a cool. quick little uh, to fire you up on your habits on reflecting so now those discipline those five things are every day then every week you should take those five things and separate them all five of those things as in your mindset all five of those things in your body all five of those things in your business you do that sunday morning and reflect on the week how was your mind with discipline energy confidence action freak then how was your body with discipline energy confidence action freak how was your business discipline energy so then a, a bigger version of it a broader version of it every week on a weekly basis daily do the quick little snapshot so you can stay on track see what you need to work on and then a bigger broader and we do that every single day and then every single week on self-reflection in addition to much other journaling and thoughts and stuff like that not so this only that we should we should be you should you guys should be doing this with your families because you do this on your own base maybe on your business or but you should be doing this with your family okay how the week was maybe sunday night when you guys have dinner think about ask the question these questions to your kids like how our week was Ex exchange the information with your spouse right and your loved ones and then you have a week by week and then at the end of the month the eom we call it or we can call you guys can call it something else at the end of the month what happened yum, that month yum 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 so the point of this was just to get a quick down and dirty just to tell you the some of the key points we got out of the webinar yesterday we thought was just we wanted to drill into the point to you today was re have reflection every single every single night give yourself scores give yourself ratings then have a broader version of that every week in all these specific areas in the different areas of life of the mind, the body, the business, in all three, all five of those decaf for each of those. And do that on a regular basis. And this will help you stay on track every single day. Then track your victories list and track your gratitude list. This is what you need to do on a daily basis. Just a starting point right here. Just quick, down and dirty is the, is the point we want to get across here on episode number 16 of The Russian and the Freak. And before we go, I just wanted to say this. Like, this is something I wanted to say was, yeah, I love it, yes! The energy that you're bringing, the enthusiasm is just on fucking point. So <laughs> take them home. Yes. And just to give you guys a little, a little, a little, a little, little thing of what's coming, you're going to have available courses 
on every single thing that we've been talking about and more. So stay tuned for more because more will be coming up. As you know, we always create if new you stuff. Need so some help on a deeper level for any of these things, just send a private message. We'll talk about it. We'll schedule a call and figure out what type of program would be best for you to get you rolling to help you with your discipline and your confidence action and freak in your mind and your body and your business so you can operate to dominate in all areas of your life. life. In case no one told you yet today, you are fucking awesome. No excuses. You are fucking awesome. No excuses. <laughs>